Bernardo Lopalo of Mesa says he eats just about the same thing every day to stay strong and healthy. And he tells me there's one food keeping him looking young, even though he's over a century old. And it's something you probably have in your kitchen right now. I've never been sick in my life, and I've traveled all over the world. Every continent that you can call, I've been. Hello there. My name is Bernardo Lopalo. I was born in Brazil in 1901. Imagine the sheer wonder of reaching your 100th birthday, a remarkable milestone that many dream of, but few ever achieve. Now, as you let your imagination take flight, let's delve into the extraordinary life of Bernardo Lapalo, who has not only traversed the century mark, but surpassed it with grace and vitality. In this video, Bernardo Lapalo would be revealing how he was able to achieve this life feat that many want but never have. If you watch this video to the end, then you will discover the five secret foods which kept Lapalo healthy and alive even at 114 years old. Never been sick a day in his life. I was astounded. Some people argue, well, it's just Bernardo's genes. He has good genes. One of his family members, his son, wasn't, uh, didn't eat properly, and he did pass on uh, much younger. Bernardo Lapalo was born in Victoria, Brazil, on August 17, 1901, to Matty Carr and Bernardo Lapalo Sr. He moved to the United States and was raised by his father, who was a doctor in Philadelphia and New York. Lapalo lived in the United States for 90 years and raised his family there living through major segments of American history like the sinking of the Titanic, the first flights of North Carolina, the Great Depression, the Harlem Renaissance, World War II, and the civil rights movements. He enjoyed four professions that spanned over a century, and his career began with the culinary arts, later transitioning to the healing arts. According to Bernardo, there are five foods that he relied upon for his long life and good health, and those are Garlic, olive oil, cinnamon, chocolate, honey. Honey, you'll never get sick. One, garlic. According to research, regular consumption of garlic has many health benefits, and it's no surprise why Lapalo included it in his meals regularly. Garlic is classed as a superfood, and fermenting garlic between 140 and 170 degrees Fahrenheit for up to four weeks enhances its nutritional value. Some of the incredible benefits of garlic include helping protect the heart, preserving cognitive functions, providing plenty of antioxidants, helping to prevent and fight cancer, enhancing the immune system and regular blood sugar levels, and detoxifying the liver. These are among the reasons why the incredible Bernardo Lapalo marked it as one of the secret foods that helped him live long and healthily. 2. Raw Unprocessed Chocolate Another secret food that helped Bernardo achieve longevity was chocolate. But not your regular chocolate, we are talking about the raw, unprocessed one. Now you may be asking, why did he include chocolate among the secret foods which helped him live a long and healthy life? Well, you may not know this, but raw chocolate contains thousands of living enzymes that have not been damaged by the heating process used in making the regular store-bought chocolate. Some of the benefits of raw, unprocessed chocolate to the human body include hormonal balancing, helping in reducing fat, providing energy, lowering blood pressure, preventing tooth decay, preventing premature aging, and lowering blood pressure naturally. Three, cinnamon. I was told that cinnamon was great for diabetes. And of course, I don't want to get diabetes, so I've been using cinnamon tea for a number of years now. The third food which helped Bernardo reach the age of 114 is cinnamon. Cinnamon offers tremendous health benefits. Some of the benefits include lowering blood sugar, protecting against cancer, cutting the risk of heart disease, having anti-inflammatory and anti-aging properties, having anti-diabetic effects, and also being loaded with antioxidants. 4. Olive and olive oil I bathe my feet every night in massage and olive oil. Never had a corn. Another secret food that enables Bernardo to reach his remarkable age and stay healthy is olive. Some of the incredible benefits of olive oil include its ability to fight Alzheimer's disease, reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes, treat rheumatoid arthritis, protect against heart disease, and help in preventing stroke. 5. Honey I never miss, and we have it put up also in little bags that you can take it with you. Honey was a regular in this centenarian's daily diet, and he always mixed it with other foods. Raw, unpasteurized honey contains many important antioxidants, which are linked to a reduced risk of heart attacks, strokes, and certain types of cancer. Honey also helps the arteries in the heart dilate, increasing blood flow to the heart, and may also help prevent formation of blood clots. 
Honey also lowers cholesterol, triglycerides, and inflammation, and some studies have shown that honey improves heart disease risk factors in diabetics. So, there you have it, the five secret foods which helped Bernardo Lapalo achieve incredible health and longevity and live to become 114 years old. Good living, baby, just taking care of my body. And he advised that anyone who wants a long, healthy life should incorporate these foods into their diet as their benefits to the human body are incredible. Bernardo also used a nutrition supplement called Superfood since 1979. It helped me get to this age, he said, but by the same token, I wasn't eating all the crap that people eat. Bernardo was also a strong advocate for fish, oatmeal with berries, green tea, and organic products, and he avoided foods such as red meat, hot dogs, and french fries. Because he used to say, they're tied up all day long in their socks and shoes, they don't get any air, and first thing you know, he said, they start to get the dead skin there and it accumulates. All his life, Bernardo never, for one day, was sick. He used to go for a walk every morning and ate mostly organic fruits and vegetables. He had a recipe for longevity which he learned from his father, who was a doctor and lived to be 98. After his 113th birthday, he revealed the secret to his longevity and he said, I feel wonderful. It's all about obedience and moderation. That's the story. The key to my success has been obedience and moderation. I have been doing everything my daddy told me to do all these years. Obedience is the key. Moderation is the backup. One of the questions Bernardo got a lot from his neighbors was, when would you age? Speaking, he said, I have a friend who asked, when are you going to age? When are you going to get old? I ask myself the same thing. Bernardo's life was based on his principles and rules for health and wellness. And some of those health and wellness rules, which he advises those who want to live a long and healthy life to adopt, include 1. Keep your colon clean. According to Bernardo, juicing can help cleanse the body, and he advises people to drink two glasses of fresh vegetable juice a day and cut down on sugar. Bernardo was a big fan of apple cider vinegar. 2. Get at least six hours of sleep a night. By 9.30 p.m., Bernardo was already in bed and he woke up around 3.30 or 4 a.m. in the morning. 3. Exercise your body and mind. Bernardo liked exercising his arms when he walked, and he did crossword puzzles to give the brain a boost. He was a strong follower of the adage, an ounce of prevention is worth a thousand pounds of cure. 4. Create time for relaxing. Bernardo learned from his father that stress is a killer. He said that we live for a comparatively brief moment in time. We will be dead for a long time. Enjoy every moment while you are alive. 5. Take care of your skin. Bernardo prioritized his skin, and he used an organic extra virgin olive oil for supple skin. He rubbed his body down with olive oil after his morning shower. His skin was always vibrant and wrinkle-free, which made him look even younger than his real age. 6. Drink plenty of water. Every day, Bernardo drank a half gallon of water, and he always drank his water boiled and then placed in the icebox to eliminate toxins. He believed that no germs can live under conditions of extreme heat or cold. 7. Eat plenty of fruits and vegetables. Bernardo was a vegetarian, and he loved all kinds of berries and melons. And he believed that eating plenty of fruits and veggies had its way of preventing cancer and diabetes. His favorite fruits and vegetables were apples, avocados, carrots, cabbage, sweet potato, and spinach. 8. Live life in moderation. According to Lapalo, to enjoy life fully and get the best out of it, one must strive for moderation, as too much of something or everything can wreak havoc. He advises people who want to have excellent health and achieve longevity to apply the laws of moderation. He said, do what you know is right. Don't just say you're going to do it, take action immediately. Also, don't do anything in excess. Moderation is key to everything. Bernardo's curiosity and passion for food led him to become a five-star chef after completing his course of study and graduating in 1928 from the School of Culinary Arts in La Saborne in Paris, France. After years of working as a chef on steamliners, resorts, and as a merchant marine during World War II, he officially retired from the profession to pursue another, this time in healing arts. He got his massage license at age 69 from the Swedish Institute in New York City. 
Spurred on by his father's instruction that one's feet were very important, Bernardo went on to study and become licensed as a reflexologist and a doctor of podiatry at New York University at the age of 73. Lopalo has had a successful private massage practice for over 20 years, treating people of all walks of life. While doing this, he also earned another certificate from the Robert Finance School of Hair and Makeup in 1983 at age 82. Always seeking to deepen his knowledge, at age 94, he completed a course of study in herbology with the American Botanical Pharmacy founded by Dr. Richard Schultz. At an age when most people are already dead or have given up on life, Bernardo completed two books, the first at age 107 and the second at age 113. This simply shows you how remarkable the man Bernardo Lopalo was.